News First, Newsline with Faraz Shaukatali. And a very good evening to you and a warm welcome to Newsline Live. My guest this evening is a uh, vociferous politician uh, and uh, he is also known as the ever smiling doctor, former health minister and a veteran politician. Dr. Rajita Senaratna. Very good uh, evening to you, Doctor. Very good evening, uh, Faraz. Thank you very much for coming on the program. Um, as uh, the former Minister of Health, do you agree with uh, what is being done to control the spread of the pandemic in Sri Lanka? No, actually the government, uh, from the very beginning, they spoiled the whole problem. Uh, even though it was at the first stage, Actually, I appealed to him, uh, to the government, even my leader, uh, the leader of the opposition, Sajid Premadasa. We both appealed to the government to uh, actually <coughs> close the uh, airport. Mm -hmm. You know, for us, this is an island huh, surrounded by sea. So the only place where anybody can, any disease can enter is the airport. It's like the bottleneck. Mm -hmm. So you close the uh, bottleneck right uh, you put a lid so that's all that tree we uh, control SARS chicken gunya uh, H1N1 but we didn't close the airports at that time did we we, we screened the entire airport yeah right without showing right right uh, we screened all those patients coming from those countries so you did heat uh, ID, IDs and yeah all that. Uh, well, every time when that, that epidemic uh, was there. Mm -hmm. So you know all Asian countries, even like a uh, very clean country like Singapore, was so much affected, right? They were very badly affected, but not Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka survived all those uh, epidemics. Mm -hmm. So even after that uh, now, <coughs> actually speaking, the WHO, they have given a um, um, guideline. Mm -hmm to all the nations at the beginning how to uh, control uh, this epidemic. Yeah. They are the first one they say, you study how you control your earlier epidemics mm -hmm. and learn from those lessons, right? That is what they didn't do. Right. That was the first cardinal principle they advocated. So we are a country who have controlled so many um, the epidemics. Mm. Now during my tenure, we control six epidemics. Right. Now malaria, filaria, uh, the measles, rubella, mother to child uh, tetanus, mother to child HIV. Mm. Right? So we have a very good uh, epid unit here mm -hmm. and a public health uh, sector here. That is actually the, the entire world actually respect uh, these units here in Sri uh, of our uh, ministry. Yeah, but so then, uh, Dr. Rajita, what is the problem then? Problem is, actually the president taking over the controlling the COVID. President and this uh, so-called uh, presidential task force. Right. Right? That is the task force that spoiled the whole thing. That presidential task force is headed by a person who doesn't know anything about medicine. But, and having, uh, uh, have, <coughs> sorry to interrupt you, but having said that, I have firstly visited uh, these different centers which are run by the or administered by the army yes. and uh, everything seems to be going in order and so on. In so no, the, yes. uh, so the, the army is doing that admin part pra rather well. Admin part they can do yeah. but not the actual the controlling part, right. controlling the epidemic. That is a, Another, another game, you know, it is not like uh, controlling a center. Right. You have to control the entire country from right. the epidemic. So that is, there are, we have the epidemiologists, we have our virologists, we have our public health specialists. Now even Sudarshini Fernando Polo was a consultant on public health, right? She knows the subject very well, a very good health worker. Uh, now those type of people. So, actually, they are the people who uh, uh, helped us to control all epidemics in this country, mm -hmm. right? Actually, now our country is, uh, you know, uh, the WHO and all internationally, uh, they commend our health services. Mm. They commend what? Not the curative services. It's the public prevent preventive services. Right. So, we have a very strong uh, arm on that. So, they never used it. They mm. never listened to them. 
Even I, when I ask the why, why, why do you think that is? Why do because you think our virologists, they, they are very innocent people, you know, they are consultants, but they don't uh, try to go and, uh, you know, um, um, shout uh, um, with other people or argue with other people. Mm -hmm. They will try to tell something. If they don't, uh, they will keep quiet. That th sort of a people. Yeah. So when I ask them, they said, sir, you can't, you can't speak there. Right. right with these people now who are running the uh, the presidential task force the president then the army commander who doesn't know a damn thing then other administrators they also don't know anything and there are the Vyatmaga doctors mm. right like the our uh, prasanna gunasen and uh, all those crowds they have never handled an epidemic they have never learned anything about epidemic so why right? do they take it on then <coughs> these are do uh, uh, they are doctors, surely they, they are understand their like, limitations. It is like you are asking an electrical engineer to do a building, a right. civil, civil work. It yeah. is something, something like that, you see. So an electrical engineer cannot uh, do any civil work. Right. So this is what they are trying to do. Right. Now I will show you even this Prasanna Gunasena, yeah. the things that he had, he had told. So these are the people who advise the president. Right. So you can see the advices that given him. Now this is the first report. It is in Singhala. Yeah. That he had. You can say it in Singhala. He, yeah, he, he had uh, actually given it, and the pub, uh, uh, it was shown over the TV also that day. Yeah. Very nicely. He said, "Juni maase vena vata signa pa mennatin million turak sputik ennatin million ekakut labe naatra." Juni maasa avasan er Lanka ave sahe enna pirisa kate ennat laba diya ke. Juni. Right now, all that and come and finally he says, "Enna den pramane anu tikka tikka ratte view takara ne pulu angunot janadi bhutte unni me taspo se kahara ubakala me barapadala kari sampurne me sarthka." This this is like uh, you know praising him and all that. Uh, so this is all. Now so you're, he what says, you're saying is it's not practical. He goes, uh, you're, what you're saying is it's not practical. Nothing, nothing. Now now uh, actually about one month back, I addressed the press center that there will be the Delta uh, virus will be the fourth wave, yeah. right? Uh, so I said that now this will come yeah. and August, September will be very crucial months for here. And this will be a disaster, I said, right? This will be a disaster to this country. And I said there will be at least 200 people will be dying if you don't take action immediately for the Delta. They, they didn't care. And, and, and uh, b b going on to other aspects of it, ha uh, has, has Sri Lanka, in your knowledge, paid the right amount of money for the vaccines or have they paid no, more No, that money? is also late. No, Now the first thing, they didn't close the uh, airport yeah. or at least they uh, controlled, the, uh, the, uh, they, they, uh, they managed the, uh, the, who the, the visitors, I mean, yeah. who are arriving from those countries yeah. where there is very bad uh, COVID. And they try. They they brought Ukrainians. When the Ukraine is closed, they brought Ukrainians. And Basil says that they they came to they they were brought to you know test mm -hmm. whether the COVID is spreading. Right. So this all all those things. So they, they are for. What about the cost? Have huh? we pay, have we paid the right amount or have we paid too much of money for for the vaccines? Too much of money. I will come back. Then, then we told them to lock down the country. Right. They didn't do that. They they closed the airport after everything was so finished. Then they locked down the thing when the uh, this was spreading everywhere yeah. in the country. Now the vaccination. Just see the one thing. Now uh, last year, 2020 by May, there was a debate in Parliament about uh, COVID. Yeah. In that debate, I appealed to the minister. Uh, to uh, book the uh, vaccines now itself because I said 2020 by October November the first vaccine will be out mm -hmm. right will be produced one or two or three so but all the uh, powerful countries will book all these things I said already the uh, US has booked in billions uh, UK in billions Canada in billions India in billions but they cannot produce in billions so therefore, we, uh, there will be a long queue. Immediately book the uh, vaccine. Right. Uh, otherwise, we won't get it till 2022 right. properly. So they didn't do it. Then in November, we, we cautioned the government. Never listen. Now the other thing is, now what happened was they, they booked when the uh, vaccines came to the market hmm. in uh, January uh, 2021, hmm. this year. 
So by that time they were late. There were no vaccines available. Every, every, all the vaccines had been uh, booked. Now you were the uh, you were the Minister of Health, and in this period, what what is your take on uh, the the local uh, the Ayurvedic uh, solution? Ayurvedic. Do you, do you believe in Ayurvedic medicine? I will believe it if it is scientifically approved. Yeah. You know, you can't play games with uh, this type of... Uh, no, I, I, don't, I don't only mean about the pandemic. I'm talking about Ayurvedic medicine as a whole. Ayurvedic medicines are good as an alternative medicine. There is no problem. But there are certain things... Are, are, there, certain are, are there any, any but diseases But I don't think that, that there are Ayurvedic medicines for a, uh, 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 this type of pandemic uh, situation. Are there any medicines that Ayurvedic works fully? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there are certain now, you know, now there are for orthopedic problems. Yeah. You know, the only solution by uh, the Western medicine is surgery. Right. But sometimes they manage to uh, applying oil and uh, you know putting uh, plasters and all that. Yeah. They, 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 so they do uh, that. is there anything other than uh, there, that? There are there are so many uh, things in the Ayurveda. Are they are they all highlighted as a brand as a as a product? A proud product of Sri Lanka? Uh, but Sri Lanka actually nothing much done. Right. In India it is, you know, especially like areas like Kerala, they are well, very why, much highlighted. Why, why, what, what held you back as a Minister of... Uh, I did, my, I did uh, my best, you know, the first thing, yeah. uh, the Ola leaves. Yeah. There are so many scripts are there. Right. Nobody uh, study them. Right. So I appeal to all the, the you know, those people who learn from the, their generation. All these yes. yeah. And uh, I got down the, about $600 leaves and I translated it to, into uh, present day language, single and Tamil. Uh, and we had a, actually a center, video center there, yeah. anybody to come and study. And also there was no pharmacopoeia. No, there are Ayurvedic drugs, but we don't know the dosage. We don't know how it had to be used, whether it is overused. But you all have a, but there is a unit to deal with indigenous medicine and so on, isn't there? Yes, but uh, you have to do uh, at least the main thing, you have to get the pharmacopoeia done. Now yeah. in India they have done, the, it took about 13 years. So uh, I have a target about 6-7 years to complete because Ayurvedic drugs of, uh, which is being practiced in India mm -hmm. uh, is coming also part, part of our uh, indigenous medicine. So, uh, therefore, to we can reduce to about... So, obviously, years. the penny has no... No, what nonsense. They, they, they are not... Uh, the Ayurvedic fellow, no. That fellow said that some uh, God have given no, something, uh, some divine power. What about... Uh, the, it is uh, not the, Ayurveda. What about, the, it is not what about throwing the pots over the river? All nonsense, no. All nonsense. And you know, even the, 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 the minister in charge of uh, drugs... Yeah. He's, he's, uh, he's a f professor of pharmacology. He also defended that, no. He said everything is not science. Uh, there are other alternatives we have to think and uh, he blamed us. Right. So, the other thing, other thing So is, really, Ayurvedic and pandemic is nothing. There's no, there's no, there's no goodness from Ayurvedic into this no, pandemic. No, no, not at all. So for there's the pandemic, nothing, no, we are... Only thing is the vaccination, vaccine. Right. Is the only uh, final solution. But now, Dr. even the vaccine is uh, not effective at the moment uh, um, in a uh, lot of cases. With all the after the vaccinations, also they are getting infected because right. there are new variants right. will uh, uh, crop up. So with the new variant, sometimes it won't, uh, you know, answer uh, to the new variant. Right. That the, was the, now, Dr. Rajas, what about this business about the Sino Farm? Uh, we are told by um, uh, uh, another guest who was here, Dr. Rajiv Desiva, he said yeah. that the Sinopharm, when you take the first dose, it's inactive. Yes. So meaning it provides no cover. Yeah. Then four weeks later, you do the second dose. Yeah. Then two weeks thereafter, the whole thing starts yeah. becoming two active. Two to three weeks after. Yeah. Yeah. So, so basically, around six weeks needs to go. But in between, the government have asked the public service to return to work. Yeah. How do you He's do that? Absurd. Now everybody, even the Sri Lanka Medical Council, yeah. appealed to the president to uh, lock down or to, to have a lot of restrictions right. on the society. Don't open the society because uh, with the Delta variant. Man, the government doesn't know, uh, know about the dental, uh, the Delta variant. They yeah. are not serious about it. Right. This is a very serious, uh, you know, virus. This is 
60 times more than the ordinary virus disease effective. But uh, I put it to you, Dr. Rajita Senaratna, that 62% uh, of Sri Lanka's working population are in the informal sector, meaning they are right. daily, daily waged. So whilst it's easy to say, let's go for a lockdown, how, how, does the, how can the government manage these people who are, uh, you know, the street vendors, the tuk-tuk people, the drivers and so yeah. on? 62% is a big, Cer big Certain amount. people will be affected. But yeah. you know the way that the, this government did the uh, lockdown was wrong. So at the very beginning, How I produced the, the research done by three uh, medical scientists at C Cambridge University, how to do the lockdown. Lock when we asked for lockdown, the government gave a curfew. Curfew is a military measure. Lockdown is a health measure. You know, during the lockdown in other countries, all the shops were open. All the medical centers were open. All the clinics were open. Pharmacies were open. But you know, people cannot come Probably. and have a, a gather around everywhere. But for their essential, they can go to the shop, they buy and they come back. Right? So the, uh, the most of the, uh, actually society, most of the networks have been worked out. But uh, um, uh, the day-to-day -day life, there will be a little restriction. Mm -hmm. And certain uh, categories, like what you said, are being affected. Yes, that's right. But yeah, that's, uh, a big, uh, that's a big chunk, big. 62%. Yes, M not all that, because all the, uh, the shops and everything, once you uh, ah, okay. open those things, and the clinics and pharmacies, all the, the, everything is uh, opened up. Only the government service, there, there will be the lockdown. And on that note, let's go and take a quick peek at the uh, headlines for this evening's primetime news. We'll see you on the other side. Newsline with Faraz Shaukatali. And welcome back to Newsline Live. I'm in conversation with the former Minister of Health, Dr. Rajita Senaratna. Now then, Dr. Rajita, um, um, several questions um, are being posed to us about the cost of vaccinations. How did they purchase this? Yes, there was no tender procedures, nothing. So it's okay because it's emergency purchase. Yeah, it's a national matter. Uh, yes, uh, so but uh, they, would, they would have checked the price the world market prices. Now, when they uh, purchased uh, Sinopharm, that is in millions, uh, you know, we purchased for $15 uh, one injection, right, one bottle. So, but the Bangladesh, it was only $10. Uh, so, we paid five, uh, $5 more, mm -hmm. $5 more. So, it was a big problem in billions. We lost uh, so many billions, about over 4 billion rupees mm -hmm. for that, uh, this one. And they were, they were trying to cover up. Even the Chinese embassy was trying to cover up. Mm. But their prime minister's assistant, their cabinet uh, spokesman, and their foreign minister, they all had to say it was 10, right. uh, t t 10 uh, for $10 that they spent. Uh, you know now, they you say that uh, the Chinese are the very friendly uh, uh, people from, with Sri Lanka. Yeah. So, but the, uh, the price is high. Even with the Sino Sinovac, they were trying to bring down. Even the Sinovac, they say, they were, they were not, uh, the one condition of the Chinese is to not to reveal the price. Right. So, this is all nonsense, no? Uh, uh, what is the pharma company who can say, who can dictate to a country and say, you cannot reveal the price? Yeah. The price, now, if we ask uh, in the parliament, uh, everybody is bound to uh, answer our questions, no? Yes. Right, to give the uh, um, uh, price. This is not China, this is uh, Sri Lanka, democracy. So, um, uh, right, RTI is there. So, th the problem is that they spend, uh, I, um, I don't know, there was somebody involved in uh, actually uh, doing business yeah. uh, with this nonsense. Now, at the moment, you know, now AstraZeneca is available for $2. Right. Then uh, Pfizer is available for $5. But we are paying $15 for Sinopharm. Is that okay? Sinopharm is a uh, vaccine which was uh, actually approved by the WHO for emergency users. But do you think that the Sinopharm at the higher price is because perhaps, I don't know, perhaps they are getting a credit arrangement that they have deferred payment terms? But, but even deferred payment from two, $2 to or $5 to uh, so much? Okay. This is all nonsense, no? <laughs>
can be a 10 percent or 15 percent. Uh, let, 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 let's go to the situation about the beds. We have reports, and I know personally because from last night when I was trying to find a bed for a, uh, for one of my colleagues, the it's all full. All full. Everyone's full. Right. So, what did you do as minister in charge of health? Did you? How many beds did you get more? Actually, most of the beds are done by me because of me only that actually at least uh, the people are using these beds. So we, uh, beds. I'm told that we now have 90,000 beds. You go there, the two buildings, we did it in two weeks time. Uh, we used the army. So why can't you use the army and uh, do temporary uh, 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 hospitals? You can you can bring a container and make it a ward. Now you go to uh, uh, but they are Columbus using South. But they are using containers to put gyms. Gyms. What gyms were at this moment? Now, you know, you go to uh, Colombo South, I did the uh, uh, dengue ward. At that time, there was the de dengue e epidemic in uh, 2017. Complete ward uh, on uh, containers. Right. You can't see even that is a container. Very nicely done. Right. So why can't you do it? In? I, I did uh, buildings in uh, Nigambo in two weeks. Right. IDH, two weeks. During that uh, epidemic, so we have now, 90, what, what beds are they, now. What are they doing now? Namal says that he was doing. He was doing 10,000 beds. Where are the beds? All nonsense, no. You have to take uh, quick actions. You have to take immediate. Uh, you know, um, um, uh, special uh, uh, decisions <coughs> must be taken on these things. You can't say no bed. Actually, no bed. Not not even in the private sector. So yet. let me go on to this question. If you and your party were in power now, what would your solution be? We would have solved this at the very beginning by managing the airport right. as we uh, did uh, the other uh, um, um, epidemic. But yeah. I don't uh, try to say that this epidemic I have to, can compare with uh, the previous one. No. This is worse. But still, you know, you, you, can, you can see how Hong Kong, Haiti, Taiwan, New Zealand, all those island nations, how they managed. There were minimal number of, uh, you know, uh, uh, COVID patients but in compared our to ours. But in, in our case, and opposed to these other countries, uh, we have a huge workforce of over a million people working abroad who, also being affected by this, wanted to come back home. At least they wanted to die uh, in Sri Lanka. Yeah, not even the uh, poor workers in the Middle East. Yes, you that's know, what I mean. I, I have produced the statistics. When uh, I think uh, I can't remember the uh, period uh, I uh, produced all the data. When uh, India had sent 7,000 flights, Pakistan 5,000 flights, Bangladesh 4,000 odd flights, uh, all those countries have sent and uh, taken their people out. How many flights we have sent? Only 10. Compared to 7,000, 5,000, 4,000, only 10 flights at that time to control. That is why you could have seen, you go to the um, uh, social media, all the women in the Middle East, the way they were castigating the government, mm. <laughs> cursing the government. And they said they will never ever vote for any Rajapaksa hereafter. <laughs> they are the people who have voted this government. They who specially came to this country to vote for the Gota there. So how, how long away are you and your party away from taking power? Or the, the, power? the government cannot go like that. The yeah. government cannot continue. We have seen governments running, but will, this will government you, cannot run. Is there a possibility of a national government coming along? What is the purpose? Even a national government, there must be a complete, uh, even uh, during a disaster like that, come to some understanding is okay. We yeah. are ready to go and uh, give all our advices. Can you but put, the, can you put pa party politics on hold until? Definitely. Definitely there is no problem. Even have you from asked the, from sir the about beginning, that? they could have done it, but they never did it. Have you asked sir about that? Pardon? Have you asked the president about, have you offered him a No, it, is the, it is the duty of the government to do that. We have, we have uh, appealed. Even uh, my leader has uh, said, but they, he thinks that he, he can do anything, no. But uh, right now, given that the, what's happened is happened, what would your solution be now to try and, even at this late stage, to try and control it? It is like when you are asking a cancer patient from the, uh, the cancer surgeon. Yeah. Now, when the cancer 
patient was not not brought at the very beginning and yeah. he was doing some ayurveda applications and all that yeah. and when that is being spreaded all over the body and you go and ask now doctor what can you do so the doctor the, the, is the answer is very much limited very very, very limited yeah. so my my friend bandula jai sekra the late bandula jai sekra yeah. told me that we must let go we'll have to let go let but go because the, the government, government it is because of the weakness of the government probably the even the health ministry was not allowed to actually control this uh, epidemic right and the the reins were taken over by the uh, president and uh, the army commanders and other uh, administrators that is what happened actually not uh, not anything else if if without any of these uh, task force if they actually allowed the public health section of the ministry to uh, handle the situation and they supported them with finances and other other way they would have managed Will i don't think that uh, they would have managed for to clear the whole thing at least you know only in that case if it it would have been few months time and 10% of these deaths won't would have uh, but, but you know away. in all fairness um, the republic of sri lanka out there um they are looking to see whether somebody perhaps like you um has a solution that will take us out of this mire even though we are in this abyss of yeah, despair yeah at the moment it is very difficult but even that if we are ready to uh, do that for our innocent patients you know why because that is why even um, uh, now you can see all the ambulances running yeah all that those uh, ambulances were brought by down by me the suez area there are 297 yeah. then we are, i brought down another 350 to the hospital yeah. they are the people who are managing all that. if not for suez area who would have transported all this uh, you, 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 uh, you had a you had a capable assistant uh, in that program yes. uh, one dr harsha de silva Ah yes. yes yes we must no, forget was dr harsh the prime minister yes he was the prime me. minister who was managing the, yeah. the program we mustn't forget young yeah. dr harsh no actually it is uh, not only dr harsh we have to remember honorable ranil vikram singh mm -hmm. he is the one who actually talked to modi and got this facility right um, well um, it's all good news for for those sort of things but You know really the burning question is do you have a real solution uh, which would be different from what this government is taking What's the real solution can what can we do now Solution is I told you from the very beginning the first thing to do is to manage the uh, airport they didn't do that then was the lockdowns they didn't do it properly right So would you go for a lockdown now now also you have to not a lockdown at least certain strict measures have to be taken right to control the crowds mm -hmm. right now you see now one fellow was uh, talking to me on my way to your program yeah so he was telling he is an employee at uh, yeah, uh, the port authority port every day there are so many people have been uh, having a uh, fever and all that yeah you know what happened then they check it is corona positive then they ask them to go home how do they go home he says by bus so he, uh, how many people are being infected uh, then right so like that they are they are not uh, they are not taking any care about mm. their employees they just wanted to go because uh, now who is managing the port another general right but uh, they, they ask the people to in thousands to go home right when they travel in the buses public uh, transport um, uh, Uh, um, uh, for how many uh, lakhs of people uh, that is uh, they are in infecting uh, dr rajit sir uh, thank you very much what actually what you're really saying is that the republic of sri lanka uh, they must become uh, the experts they must stay at home they must not go to work they be they are better off staying at home and not spreading the yeah. uh, taking the risk kare you know why that is what the german chancellor yeah uh, merkel said right i have handed over the country to the medical experts and the scientists because my i or my cabinet doesn't understand any and nobody has um, um, know about medicine so i have handed over them i i see i sit behind let them run let them run so, in
indeed. Yes. Dr. Rajat Sena Radha, thank you very much. We must now run to the primetime news. So uh, thank you, take care, good night, and God bless you.